tragedy that occurred at last Monday night's Bengals-Bills game where DeMar Hamlin's heart stopped on the field may have some unintended side effects on the state of Ohio. A state rep is reintroducing a bill that would require AEDs, automated external defibrillators, in all schools. Our David Winter is live at Taft Elementary in Mount Auburn with a renewed effort. David. Megan, most schools in Ohio, Kentucky, and Indiana do have AEDs inside of them, but some don't, and it's not required by law. Now, there was a bill that was introduced last year in the Ohio legislature that would have required them, but it failed. Now that there's such a huge light shined on this issue of how AEDs can benefit people like DeMar Hamlin, some believe that this bill may now have a shot. And people keep asking what, you know, what they can do, you know, learn CPR, uh, support public access to um, defibrillators uh, so that if people, if people are presented with similar circumstances, they can have an outcome ideally as good as he has had. When DeMar Hamlin's doctor said those words at a press conference Monday, they may have been heard loudest at the Ohio State House. We're going to call first on House Bill 426 for its first hearing. It's where HB 426 was introduced last March by Representative Richard Brown. Survival declines by 7 to 10 percent for each minute that defibrillation is delayed. And it's where the bill died. Seeing no more questions, this concludes the first hearing on 426. Thank you, Representative Brown. We appreciate it. The bill did not go any further. Uh, it did not make it out of committee. There was no second or third hearing, and the bill died. We spoke with Brown about the bill. It would have required all schools and public recreation facilities to have an AED. Do you think the latest episode with DeMar Hamlin may help your efforts? I do. I think that that incident uh, brought this issue to the attention of uh, almost everybody in the United States now. So Brown says he will reintroduce the bill this session, this time with a Republican joint sponsor, which he hopes will get it more traction. Either way, we asked whether the bill goes far enough. Why not include in your bill required drills for sudden cardiac arrest? It's probably not a bad idea. And that's something that, you know, we can consider as this bill uh, gets uh, dropped and then moves through the, uh, the legislative process. Wouldn't it be more effective if, Coaches were required to carry these portable AEDs with them at all times. My goal with this legislation is to save a child's life, but I also want it to be passed. And if you try to bite off too big of a, a bite on something, it frequently doesn't pass the legislature. I spoke with the chair of the committee that let this bill die this last year, and the staff said that the uh, chairman was not available for comment. Now, I also spoke with vice chair of that committee, Adam Byrd. He said that if this legislation were reintroduced, he would want to see it get a full set of hearings. Reporting from Mount Auburn, David Winter, back to you in the studio. David, thank you. Representative Brown says the bill is currently being rewritten and he hopes to introduce it as soon as the House committee begins hearings again and that hopefully will be later on this month.